Hi guys, it's uh, Z back, back, back again. Um, last time out, uh, we're talking about Learn Boiler Repair Part One, um, the basic mechanics inside the boiler, what's inside the boiler, how it actually works, uh, the basic fundamentals of uh, what it, what's inside of there, and um, how to go about repairing it. First things first, I need to give you this warning. Um, if you're not gas safe registered, um, please do not attempt to, to 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 fix anything inside the boiler. As you're not gas safe registered, the law is the law. Um, do not attempt to repair anything inside there. We're just trying to educate new gas safe engineers to become better engineers at what they do. Okay, as I said, this time out we got a real special one. Um, it's all about the boiler sequence, the sequence of events, and what comes next. Uh, obviously, if you can tell the future of what comes next, you'll know how to repair it. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, if I know uh, after the fan comes the air pressure switch, uh, after that becomes this, then I know before that it should be that. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> no, that's a bit of a funny one, but funny analogy. But uh, believe it or not, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. Sequence. What is this correct sequence of events? If you know this sequence, essentially you can repair any boiler. This is a special one. Okay. As I said before, the first thing that actually happens is the fan. The fan runs. After the fan comes the air pressure switch. After the air pressure switch comes the gas valve. These are the three fundamental things in boiler repairs. If you don't know this, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you're not going to repair it, really. Okay, let's look at this just a little bit deeper now and um, understand, try and understand what's going on inside the actual boiler uh, so we can work out what's gone wrong with uh, the boiler in order to repair it. Okay, as I said out, the first thing that actually happens is the fan. That's not 100% true. Um, as um, before this, there's a few other things that need to happen in order to, for the fan to come on. Uh, you, you need either your central heating to be activated, like the switch on the dial, somebody needs to turn it on, or the tap needs to be turned on. Once uh, either of these is done, there's a switch inside the boiler, which then um, makes contact. Um, once this uh, once this switch is made, then the fan then runs because uh, it now has current. Uh, once the fan runs, it uh, obviously the fan is a fan is is, is making the uh, air blow. Once the once the air blows, it blows another switch called the air pressure switch. Once the air pressure switch is blown open by the by the wind from the fan, um, it then creates continuity. Uh, and then sends the signal back down to the PCB. From the PCB, it goes to the gas valve. Uh, obviously, once the signal gets to the gas valve, you get gas. The gas valve then opens. Once it opens, gas goes into the heat, to, 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 to the heat exchanger, the main heat exchanger. Now that's filling up with gas. There's then a uh, ignition probe, like a spark plug. It starts lighting like that starts trying to light once that lights it um, then you've got a flame once the flame occurs you've got another device on there called a flame rectification device uh, once the flame right what are the flame rectification devices it's essentially just a probe uh, when when the flame hits it it generates a small current which goes back to the PCB uh, telling the PCB to keep the gas valve open because it's got a current not to shut it off so obviously if this is not detecting any current it's going to shut off because we don't want the place filling up with gas or the boiler filling up with gas. It's a very dangerous uh, uh, field we are in, boiler repairs. Um, as I said, if you're not gas safe registered, this is why we say do not touch the boilers as we are fully aware of the safety measures and the things inside the boiler in order to keep you safe and keep you nice and warm. Once uh, all these basic steps are uh, completed, uh, it's just a matter of keeping the flame going, which is what the flame rectification device is, uh, is, is there for, for, for to do, just to uh, send back the signal to, to, to the boiler in order to um, keep the flame alight. Now, uh, that basically is it. That is the boiler sequence, uh, the sequence of events. If you know uh, this, this sequence, then essentially you should be able to repair any boiler. Uh, 
Uh, as I said, I hope this uh, video has been informative. It was just another short video. I mean, it took me less than five minutes to basically explain the boiler sequence to you guys. Um, I hope this has helped you out a million. Um, it's just a basic sequence of events. Please bear in mind there is a, a whole load of other components inside the boiler. We're just trying to give you the basic fundamentals here of uh, what's going on inside your boiler uh, and build up a database of knowledge inside your mind as a new gas safe engineer in terms of learning this, becoming better at this uh, and hopefully once you are better at this you can join us at Boiler Guys and um, join the team really across London um, and, uh, helping everybody out uh, and doing your fair bit Thank you very much for watching this video. As I said, if you've got any problems, queries, please feel free to contact Boiler Guys 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year across London. Whatever it is, boilers, plumbing, whatever, just feel free to contact them. They're always happy to help. Commercial, domestic, they've got all the engineers under the sun. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just one of them trying to do my part in order to uh, help educate uh, masses of new engineers out there so we can make this place a safer place, a better place for everyone. Thanks very much. And uh, as I said, if you're not gas safe registered, uh, please be well aware of the dangers here. yourself consult the gas safe engineer uh, boiler guys have many of those and we're always ready to help thanks thanks very much